Hi everyone, my name is Mikkel and welcome back to another episode of Get Tone. In today's video we're going to be covering pickups and the basics behind them. Now to take a step back, there's two ways that pickups are normally made. The traditional way, which includes wrapping magnetic poles with a current induced wire. The number of poles will be determined by the number of strings. The number of coils around these magnetic poles usually determine the tone, as well as the materials that are used in the process. Now the second way that pickups were made started back in the late 50s when they noticed there was too much noise coming out of the single coil pickups. From there, the pattern applied for or PAF pickup was created. The main difference between this and the traditional pickup is that instead of having magnetic induced poles, they'll feature a magnetic induced plate at the bottom and then from there placing metal poles and screws on top. This is why PAF pickups tend to feature less noise as well as tend to be a little bit brighter. Now pickups come in three different ways. Normally found in the traditional way will be the single coil pickup. The second way that you will find a pickup is probably in a P90. Originally P90s and single coils were actually made in the same way. The main difference between the two was just the size of the casing or the bobbin that was used in the manufacturing process. From there though, and after the PAF pickup was created, many P90 pickups have moved over to using that design to simulate somewhat of a humbucker effect while keeping that single coil tone. Now the third way you would probably find a pickup and probably the most common way is a humbucker pickup. So if you were to look at a humbucker pickup, you may notice that it's actually two single coil pickups put together. Humbuckers get their name due to a noise cancellation that is created by convoluting the two single coils together. Each coil on a humbucker is wrapped in an opposite direction. As the signal passes through the first and then the second pickup, all the noise frequencies, which are found between 15 and 60 hertz, which are from the AC power feeding the amp, are then canceled out, as well as associated harmonics. This is usually why humbuckers have a higher output than single coils and tend to be a lot more mid-focus. Now, why for single coil and P90 pickups are actually very simple. Both feature one set of wires that have a black and white wire associated with the positive and negative terminal on each end. All you simply have to do is connect one of the ends to the output and then ground the other one to allow current flow. Now since humbuckers feature two single coil pickups, they feature two sets of wires and can be wired in a couple of different ways. On the screen, I'm gonna be using a Seymour Duncan pickup wiring diagram. Now one thing to note is that every manufacturer has its own color coding scheme, so it's very important to cross-reference that before you do any modifications on your guitar. Now, humbuckers can be wired in one of three ways in series, which is how you achieve the humbucking effect, in parallel, and then coil tapping. In order to have your humbucker pickup active in a series configuration, all you simply have to do is just connect the negative terminal on the north coil to the positive terminal on the south coil. From there, the negative terminal on the south coil will be sent to ground, and you can connect the positive terminal on the north coil to the output. Now, you could also wire a humbucker in parallel. When a humbucker pickup is active in the parallel configuration, this basically mimics two single coil pickups being active at the same time. This allows for an increased output, but also preserving a single coil tone from the pickups. This also will introduce more noise in the system since the humbucking effect is not active. In order to have a humbucker pickup active in the parallel configuration, all you simply have to do is just wire the positive terminals on the north and south coils together and the negative coils in the north and south coils together and send those to ground. Now the third popular way you probably have a humbucker active is through coil tapping. Coil tapping is essentially just emulating a single coil by grounding out one of the coils on a humbucker. In order to achieve this effect, you simply have to choose whether you want the north or south coil active. If you want the north coil active, you'll simply have to ground out the positive and negative terminals on the south coil as well as the negative terminal on the north coil. You're then going to set the positive terminal in the north coil to the output. Same thing would apply if you want the south coil active. From there, you simply just have to connect the south coil's positive terminal to output and ground all the remaining wires. Now, another thing to note is that you could actually reverse the polarity of any pickup by flipping the wiring. Now, the last thing I actually want to cover in this video is the difference between active and passive pickups. Now, the difference is actually surprisingly very simple. Active pickups simply feature a preamp circuit inside the pickup itself, which will allow for additional tonal shaping. Because they actually have a preamp, they do require more voltage, and that is why you will require a 9 volt voltage supply to boost the signal to a decent output. This also actually reduces the amount of dynamics in active pickups due to the saturation. When choosing between active and passive pickups, it's important to understand what type of genre you're playing as well as your playing style. If you prefer high gain tones, an active pickup might be your best bet. If you prefer more dynamic playing and more crunch or low gain tones, 
might be better to just try out some passive pickups. With that, this actually marks the end of the video on pickups. Now, if you haven't done so already, feel free to check out my previous video on pickup selectors. Both of these videos are gonna serve as a base for the upcoming video where I go a little bit more in depth into some wiring modifications you can make on your guitar. In the next video, I'll be going over a dual humbucker design guitar with a five-way switch commonly found on Ibanez guitars. In that, we'll be going through how to have it active in parallel and series configuration as well as doing some basic coil tapping with that five-way switch. So if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss out. So I know there was a couple of pickup styles that I did not cover, including rails. So if you have any questions or comments about pickups or pickup selectors, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. As always, I greatly appreciate everyone for tuning in and hope to catch you all in the next video.